It is said that survivors aren't always the strongest. Sometimes they're the smartest, but more often simply the luckiest. I strongly believe in it. Today in this video, we will be witnessing the incredible stories of people who were incredibly lucky to survive against all odds. Join us as we explore their unbelievable journeys and the moments that defied the impossible. Number 10. Tsutomu Yamaguchi, Twice Surviving Atomic Hell Tsutomu Yamaguchi's story is a remarkable testament to both luck and endurance amidst tragedy. In August 1945, he was in Hiroshima on a business trip when the first atomic bomb, Little Boy, was dropped. Despite being just three kilometers away from ground zero, Tsutomu miraculously survived the devastating blast, though he suffered severe burns and injuries. What makes his story even more incredible is that just three days later, Tsutomu returned to his home in Nagasaki, where he again experienced the horrors of an atomic bomb, Fat Man. Despite being approximately three kilometers from ground zero once more, Tsutomu miraculously survived both bombings. Reflecting on his unique experience, Tsutomu Yamaguchi became the only person officially recognized by the Japanese government as a survivor of both atomic bombings. His double radiation exposure was acknowledged in March 2009, solidifying his place in history. Before we move on, share this video, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Number 9. Jeremy Kadot, a tree-felling mishap survivor. In 2017, Jeremy Kadot faced a moment of sheer survival as he heard a deafening crack while sawing a towering tree in Canada. Little did he know, the tree's base was rotten, and as he worked deeper, the trunk unexpectedly split vertically, a rare and dangerous occurrence. Jeremy's quick instincts and experience played a crucial role as he narrowly avoided being struck by the collapsing tree. His ability to react swiftly in such a perilous situation was pivotal in ensuring his survival. Despite the intense danger, Jeremy emerged from the incident with injuries, but managed to escape serious harm. Number 8. Vesna Vulovic, the high-flying survivor. Vesna Vulovic's survival stands as an extraordinary tale in aviation history. In 1972, she was serving as a flight attendant on Yugoslav Airlines Flight 367 when a bomb exploded mid-air, causing the aircraft to disintegrate at an altitude of 33,000 feet. Miraculously, Vesna was ejected from the wreckage and survived the plummet, landing on a snowy slope. What distinguishes Vesna's survival is not only the staggering height from which she fell, but also the severe injuries she sustained. Despite suffering multiple fractures, including a fractured skull, and enduring days in a coma, Vesna eventually recovered. A combination of factors contributed to her ability to survive the incident, including the snow's cushioning effect when she hit it, landing on a relatively gentle slope, and her unflagging determination to survive. Her survival story indeed is a perfect example of luck and resilience. Number 7. Roy Sullivan, the lightning survivor, struck seven times. What do you think? Can a human survive being struck by lightning multiple times? For sure it feels impossible, right? But what if I tell you I have come to know about a lucky man who survived seven lightning strikes? It's simply unbelievable. But his survival story is nothing short of astonishing. Roy Sullivan, a park ranger in Shenandoah National Park, Virginia, gained fame for surviving being struck by lightning an incredible seven times between 1942 and 1977. Despite suffering serious injuries such as burns and temporary paralysis, Sullivan miraculously survived each lightning strike. His frequent encounters with lightning were partly due to his outdoor profession, which constantly exposed him to the unpredictable forces of nature. Number 6. Harrison O'Keen the Underwater Survivor Can you imagine surviving 100 feet underwater for three days? That's exactly what Harrison O'Keen experienced in 2013 when the tugboat he was working on capsized off Nigeria's coast. As the ship's cook, 
he found himself trapped in an air pocket 100 feet underwater for an agonizing three days. His survival is a testament to both luck and ingenuity. Harrison discovered a pocket of air within the sunken vessel, providing him with a crucial but limited supply of oxygen. Despite the darkness, freezing temperatures, and the constant threat of drowning, he persevered by rationing Coca-Cola from a refrigerator and clinging to hope while awaiting rescue. Harrison O'Keen's story captivated the world as he emerged as the sole survivor of the overturned Jascon 4 tugboat in May 2013. Number 4. Mauricio Henao, a miraculous survivor. Mauricio Henao is lucky to be alive to tell his story. It's a reminder of how unpredictable life can be. One moment you're enjoying a peaceful drive, the next, a huge rock nearly flattens your car. On a calm evening along the Pacific Coast Highway in Malibu, California, Mauricio Henao was driving his Toyota Prius. Suddenly, everything changed. A huge rock, loosened by recent rains, fell from the hillside above. Mauricio was in the driver's seat and just managed to avoid the rock as it crashed onto his car with great force. The impact crushed the Prius's roof, trapping Mauricio inside amid twisted metal and debris. Rescue teams rushed to the scene. They worked fast to get Mauricio out of the wreck. He suffered serious injuries, but thankfully, the emergency responders, and so he was miraculously saved. Number 3. Patricia Borges, surviving the chalk explosion. Patricia Borges, a worker at a chocolate factory in Pennsylvania, faced a terrifying incident in April 2023 when an industrial mixing vat exploded. The explosion released molten chocolate and debris with powerful force, causing severe burns and injuries to Patricia and others nearby. During the chaos, Patricia found herself engulfed in flames as the floor beneath her collapsed. Miraculously, she fell into a large vat filled with liquid chocolate. The intense heat from the flames was extinguished by the chocolate, but Patricia still suffered injuries including broken bones in her collarbone and both heels upon impact. Despite being submerged in the chocolate and injured, Patricia managed to stay afloat as the vat began filling with water from firefighting efforts. She called out for help for hours, surrounded by darkness and unsure of how much time had passed. Eventually, rescue teams heard her cries in the middle of the night. The search and rescue dogs helped them locate Patricia in the basement and extricate her from the factory. Man, this strong woman's calmness, patience, and faith are absolutely astounding. Number 2. Taiba the survivor who overcame a metal rod through the head. Taiba's incredible survival story unfolded in a village in Uttar Pradesh while she was exploring a construction site filled with rocks and sharp tools. As she walked, she tripped and landed directly onto a protruding metal rod which pierced through her neck. Ouch. It sounds terrifying, right? Rushed to the hospital, scans revealed a miraculous outcome. The rod narrowly missed all critical nerves and blood vessels, sparing her from potentially fatal damage. Swift action by medical professionals was crucial as they performed a tense 35-minute surgical procedure to safely remove the rod and repair the injury. And guess what? Taiba bounced back faster than anyone expected. Just three days later, she was already feeling well enough to go home. 1. Amanda Eller the strongest survivor of Maui's wilderness. In May 2019, Amanda Eller went hiking in the thick forests of Maui, Hawaii, looking for peace and connection with nature. But her trip turned into a tough fight to survive. She got lost and couldn't find her way out. For 17 long days, Amanda wandered through the dense trees with a broken leg and burned feet from walking on rough ground. It was painful and exhausting but she never gave up hope that someone would come to rescue her. Finally, after weeks of being alone in the wilderness, rescuers spotted Amanda waving for help. They brought her out of the forest, thin and weak, but alive. Looking back on her experience, Amanda said it was like a spiritual journey, a test of her strength and belief that she could make it through. Make it through.